guys, welcome to a, well, the very first episode of my Let's Play of Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fucking play this shit because I think it deserves at least somewhat thorough of a Let's Play. How the fuck do I gallop again? Oh yeah, press X. It's just like running. Um, we're looking for Yennefer. Yennefer sent a note, uh, and she wants us to come, uh, get head or whatever. Uh, so we're gonna go do that. Or it's not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. That's true, true fact. If I press twice, I'm galloping. Oh, I press twice and hold? Okay. So let's see how the horse's stamina holds. What? Oh, uh, just for your bridges? Right? Look at that ghetto shit! That was funny, he like tried to gallop and couldn't do it. It's hilarious. Some time later, we've been galloping for we some time. Help me. Help. Oh shit. Okay, so we're gonna vanquish this motherfucker. Cause that's what we do as the witches. Damn, girl. No! Damn! You can pick up a whole fucking horse and still fly away. And they say that chickens and turkeys are too fat to fly. Oh, did he get jacked up? It's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. Come out. What a pussy with his fucking bowl cut. Look at him. God, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Choking on a dick. You'd like a reward, I suppose. For what? Uh, we could use a few crowns. This is cool. Crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this. Here. That's right. Got 50 crowns. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there. Muddled. You seek someone? Uh, yeah, a woman. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. Yeah, a but thousand of them. There's an inn here. In Average as fuck. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Seems good. Let's talk Greetings. to some of her. Greetings. 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 Greetings, ripe! Alright, where the fuck? Let's mount this bitch. How do I mount this bitch again? Mount this bitch. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? I can just press A and not do anything. So, a griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountain, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Cards monsters crazy sometimes. Men too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. You're nearing a village, don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen don't tolerate theft and also won't look kindly on you, accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. This, these are marked like a piece of paper on your map. Examine them and learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happenings. <laughs> I'm gonna run into Whoa. bitches! Alright, let's dismount. I said dismount. I 
No, 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 just dismount. Dismount. I'm pr what the- Oh, hold, I right. Dismounting. My bad. I just like- Okay, so can I attack this duck? There we go. I'm gonna attack this goose. Hey, goose, bitch! Oh, I didn't really want to do it! Oh. Kings do the fighting. Okay, peasants let's talk to this. Dying. Can I talk to you, peasant? I don't want to fight. Okay, I'm gonna put my sword away because people are super hostile. <laughs> what the fuck? Everyone hates me. All right, uh, let's go in here. What's Vesemir want me to do? Oh, that was rude as fuck. I guess you get punched. What? What? That is a coat of arms. The Temerian lilies. They go right to hang there. Oh. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Milfgrod now. Milfgrod? That's what I heard. Hoo-hoo! Oh my god. Guys in a tavern a tavern are always assholes. Always. Look how little this fucking cup is here on the table. Don't take that shit down. Just fucking you need a bodyguard in this place. Are we gonna beat some guys' asses? Witches. I'll not drink with weevil arsed freaks. Weevil arsed freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Why are we used to it? Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. No, we took care of that. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. It's no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? Well, it's uh, uh, vodka for me. Yeah, vodka. You? Something to wet your tongue. Pussy. Ah, yeah. Okay, looking for a woman. Show me what you got. Pretty busy place. There a contract on the Griffin. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black. Oh, and now red. he's more descriptive. Riding in from Willoughby. And uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. <laughs> I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I've not Can seen nor remember? smelt. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. All right. Okay, that's cool. Is there a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Nay. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now, the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And a black one, eh? That's racist. It's an old contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. <laughs> oh, we're so fucking money hungry, it's crazy. Thanks. I like that it tells you which one ends the conversation. Oh, there's a cat. Can we kill that? I don't like killing animals even in fucking video games. But it's amusing to see if you actually can interact with things that way. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. All right, we won't draw any attention. Black one's been out measuring uh, can I interact with like stuff? <laughs> I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. Or your breath sours my beer. Oh. Okay, options marked triangle will make use of the axi sign. This influences people's minds, causing them to act accordingly to your will. Uh cool. 
this is fucking cool. It's like vampire shit. Red haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. <laughs> Which way did she go? Where Don't the know. fuck is Radabor? Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. He's like, all right. Who cares? Just want him to fucking talk. About some shit. Okay, so we know that she went crazy. Crazy fucking... There are through. Four factions. For what? what Are they playing magic? Time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. <laughs> this guy's bad at magic. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking Don't for forget a woman. about the tenure. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Poppycock. What the fuck does that even mean? Horsewoman of war. What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Uh. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Mm, all right, you're bored. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwen? No, and I don't have time to learn. No, but let's stay and listen. Come, let's, let's play it. Play. Yeah! Fuck yeah, we're gonna play some magic. Why not? Splendid. Here's how it's done. All right, welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient, an ancient dwarven game that stimulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals. The cards are their forces. I will go first. Wonderful. All right, this is a unit card. The number in the upper left-hand corner indicates its strength. Um, when placed in the battlefield, the value is added to the total strength of the player who places it. Um, this unit. Oh, this is the unit's core, uh, combat row icon. Fuck. Uh, this unit indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be placed. Cool. Siege combat. Um, some unit cards have special abilities. This Cadwin, uh, siege expert's special ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Nice. Whether cards are a type of special card, they reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw, but let's skip that for now and go straight to playing! Yeah! Alright, what do I want to do? Here's your battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's side. During each turn, a player may place one card in the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Press A to select a card from your hand. Press A again to place it on the battlefield. Your turn. Uh, hey, it even has flavor text. That's sick. All right. Do I do I like that? How much like mana do I have? All right. Cool. The number on the left by your icon indicates the total strength of your units. The number. On the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of the round, the player with the highest total of strength wins. 
During your turn, you can pass by holding down Y. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you already have in play or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. A round end ends once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strength of the units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded and both players' uh, total strength is reset to zero. Why is it the opponent's turn? I didn't want to fucking pass. Can I just play bitches? Oh, so I can only play one card per turn or some shit? Um, what does this do? Sets the strength of all siege combat uh, cards to one. Uh, set the strength of all close combat cards. Uh, close combat is the first row, right? Um, th I feel like this is good for me. Because his will be one and then we're on equal ground or whatever. I mean, why not, right? Alright. I don't want to play my close combat, dude. I'm only going to play my far away dudes. Uh, what is this? It's a siege dude, seems good. Removes all what? Oh, god damn it. I'm like still winning though. If that's all he could play. Siege combat. He's got no siege combat. Well then I can start playing my close dudes. And then I'm like extra super ahead, right? Um, so he's a 19, I have a 22. What's this? Siege combat. Still a zero. When do I draw a card? How come I don't draw any cards? I'm like done. I don't have any more cards. Okay. Yeah! Awesome. I won the round. Oh shit. How big is his hand too as well? Oh shit. I don't fucking have any cards. Um, okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I don't have any fucking cards! Ah! He won the tie?! There's no shame in passing and letting your opponent win around. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. This is pretty cool. Um, I love fucking games that have like built-in little mini games all over the place, like StarCraft's Lost Viking and stuff. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from the vendors. Also, Assassin's Creed always has the fucking games and shit. All right. So we barely fucking won. Well, it's not a game for everyone. Wow. An analytical mind. 
I'm gonna start saying that to people who are bad if at magic. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. <laughs> I stopped to play fucking Gwent. Alright. Did I already talk to this guy? No. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. <laughs> not like everyone. <laughs> not just anyone. Uh. Smells of lilac and gooseberries. Dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> schnapses. Um. Fine, I'll have a drink. Fine, Why has he got to be a, a dick? Drink. Like most of the options are to be a dick. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Jennifer of Venkerberg. Oh damn. Yes, that's the bitch. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. But once I hear something, I never forget. Come help it. How do you know Yen? How do you know Yennefer? I've been to Japan. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Ah, uh, sure. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your help. Where the fuck is Yennefer? Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Of course it's about Guessed love. It. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. <laughs> An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw. Milf guard. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and Yes. I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. I didn't think we were gonna get any more better intel. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble, and you'll be nearby to help. Or any intel at all after that fucking shit. All right, we're gonna talk to the scholar. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, I think this is a good place to stop in the story. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out more of my Witcher 3 Wild Hunt playthrough. Bye, guys.